Hello everybody, and yes, you can probably tell by the title, it recently was Halo Reach's anniversary. 13 years ago, the Fall of Reach released Bungie's final Halo game, and to some it is their favourite game, to others they absolutely despise it, but today, I want to talk about everything I like about Halo Reach. I could talk about the Bloom, the Armor Lock, and the indefinite active camo, but no, today I'm talking about all the things I like about Halo Reach. So let's start with the campaign. Halo Reach's campaign has some of my favourite Halo characters and their personalities in the entire Halo series. I think George is one of the best characters, but each member of Noble Team has their own personality, and depending on your own personality, each person is going to have their own favourite. Some people like Emil, others like Cat. A lot of people love George. But one thing everybody can agree on is Cat's driving sucks. She would routinely drive everybody off the edge on that game. I'm not sure if Bungie purposely scripted it like that, but I think she killed me more than The Covenant did on my very first playthrough of the game. One thing I really love about Halo Reach's campaign is your character is based on your own armor. That is such a nice touch. And visually, the game is very beautiful. When you compare it to Halo Infinite's campaign, there was just grass, mossy trees, and rock, and you compare it to the biomes of Halo Reach, there really is no comparison. Halo Reach also had some of the best campaign Easter eggs. If you fly a Banshee or a Falcon through this archway, it'll turn into a pelican or a phantom. There's the nightclub brute disco Easter egg with all of the dancing grunts. And my personal favorite, and it was such a nice little touch from Bungie, was the tribute room on the second to last mission. You gotta activate two switches, kill all the legendary gold elites who fly out of the door, and then you get to reach Halsey's lab. And it's really turned into kind of a time capsule, a look into what the Halo community was like back in 2010. Red vs Blue, speedrunning, and notable community members have all been paid homage to in what I think is Reach's biggest, and probably Bungie's biggest, easter egg from any Halo game. As far as character deaths go, and I don't know if it's weird to have a favourite character death, but I definitely think it's George, the whole explosion and then the Covenant fleet arrive, I think he's a really well created character. Now in terms of Halo Reach multiplayer, there is some things that I really do like about it. A lot of the Forge maps are very grey, but Uncaged, Asylum, and all of the Halo Reach Anniversary maps I really really enjoy. When the Anniversary playlist launched, that was so much fun to play. I think I played Anniversary Free For All for more hours than anyone else. But I also really love Invasion. It was the first time I'd played any mode like that. It reminded me kind of like Battlefield 3's Rush mode, and I felt like the Elites in this mode are the best playable Elites I've ever looked in game. I do love Halo Infinite Elites, but I would really love if Invasion was brought back. The only downside to that game mode at all is the spawn points were atrocious. And I've seen that on the Master Chief Collection. It's actually a ranked playlist. I think it should be a social playlist, but often if you match a team in ranked Invasion, you just get spawn killed. You spawn in the exact same spot, you cannot move, so if it did come back, a dynamic spawn system would go a long way. Halo Reach also had one of my favorite game modes of all time, and that's multi-team. We don't have multi-team on Halo Infinite. Four teams of three would battle it out in a whole variety of Slayer and objective modes. There was three ball, so there's three odd balls on the map at the same time. Crazy King was also a lot of fun because everyone was just running to the hill. I even enjoyed Elite Slayer. If there is anyone from 343 watching this video, please can we have multi-team in Halo Infinite? People would really enjoy it. Now in terms of weapons, there was one weapon that stood out that I really, really loved. And that's the Pro Pipe, the grenade launcher. The fact that it could EMP vehicles, or you could just shoot it normally and bounce it off the ground, made it really versatile, very unique, and I always thought that was fantastic. I wasn't a big fan of the Focus Rifle, as it took the place of the Beam Rifle, and to be honest, it just wasn't effective at all. Now if there was one playlist on Halo Reach that I love above all else, it would be Big Team Battle, BTB had maps like Paradiso, Boneyard, and of course the fan favourite, Hemorrhage, aka Blood Gulch. And that's another thing, I'm saying it a lot today, the 343, Blood Gulch, Matchmaking, Halo Infinite, Please, we're missing a really big open map, lots of vehicles, lots of fun, the community really wants it. It also had a very strong infection game mode. The infection community was absolutely thriving for Halo Reach, and it's still very playable in MCC today. But in all seriousness, Halo Reach is beloved by a lot of people. I played the game for years. I got Inheritor. I've always said a Halo game is so far beyond other games because of the features they had, how fun the gameplay is, and the extra tools like Forge and custom games that allow you to make friends. That's the final thing I'm talking about today. Halo Reach's Forge and the custom game community for the time was next level. The stuff people created in Halo Reach's Forge, or even if you just spawned a grid and spun it around, it was a great time. With all of that said, what do you guys rate Halo Reach out of 10? I know for a lot of you on the channel, it is your favorite game, so let me know why down in the comments below. But thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.